In this lesson, I will teach you three leadership skills you need to learn today. A leader is a person who helps people take responsibility for achieving a common goal in a group, whether you are a supervisor, a parent, a coach, a politician, or any other position that puts you at the forefront with a leadership role to play. A successful leader must know how to help people surpass themselves to obtain maximum results and reach their full potential. A successful leader is one who helps build trust in people so that they become increasingly autonomous and choose the best options based on the desired collective results. Here are the three most essential qualities required of a leader to achieve this accountability. Communicate your goals and why you want to achieve those results. If you want people to help you with your goals and vision, you need to know where you want to go. These goals must be easy to understand and they must be measurable so that the people under your responsibility can evaluate them and know where they are at any point in the process. Once you have made your goals known, you need to identify and communicate why you want to achieve them. The more robust and more solid your reasonings to reach that goal are, the greater your chances of achieving your target. It's also a good thing to add other people's input and make sure that they also align with your vision. Use retroactive communication to ensure a common understanding. It's not what you say that's important. It's what people understand and take away from your message, which is very different. Many leaders assume that saying it once or even twice automatically implies that team members have understood the information and that they will all act on what you have communicated to them. As a leader, it is important to check the level of understanding among the people. Good leaders question a lot and repeat their message, making sure that each time it is presented differently until the speaker's knowledge has been captured and understood 100%. Be a role model by your communication and actions. The successful leader is an example not only in what he communicates, but especially in his behavior, because his actions produce a much stronger effect than what he says. It will always be challenging for him to be a good leader if his actions are not in perfect harmony with his words. Integrity is fundamental when people look up to you. People are reluctant to follow a leader who asks others to do things he cannot do himself. The values you believe in and have established must be lived by you first. Otherwise, you will be considered a wannabe. If your behaviors and communication do not position you as an example to follow, you are engaging in a never-ending battle with your subordinates. It doesn't matter what your role as a leader is. The cornerstone of success is your ability to get people to work effectively. You must bring group synergy towards a common goal, whether it is in a company, a family, a group of friends, or volunteer work. Becoming an excellent leader is a daily and permanent learning process. Although some people are better predisposed to become a good leader, you are not born a leader. You become one. Therefore, apply yourself every day to improve the three qualities mentioned above, and indeed, sooner or later, you will get exceptional results from your team. In this tutorial, I will teach you four ways you can be a leader to others in your life. Leadership is the ability to inspire others, to set them in motion, to set an environment that motivates them. Leadership can be exercised by anyone, regardless of hierarchical position. Set an example. The leader must lead by example and not just say what needs to be done. If you want people to respect you and be inspired by you, act in a way that shows respect toward them. It can be as simple as to be on time for appointments and meetings. The way you treat others sets the tone for the relationship you want to build with them. Setting an example for the leader is a matter of dignity, respect for others and yourself, and a sense of responsibility. By setting an example, you empower others to be inspired by you, and automatically, you become a form of leader to them, a person they look up to for tips. Don't lose sight of humility. It is common to hear that the leader must be strong, and this does not preclude humility. 
Instead of being counterproductive, as many people think, humility is a strength that commands respect and trust of your team and your customers. Acknowledge your mistakes. You are not a superhero, and no one is perfect. Being aware of this invites you to focus on what needs to be improved and projects you into solutions that become self-fulfilling prophecies. Being humble also means that you know you are good at something, but you don't feel the need to convince others of it. When you are humble, you have a better chance of connecting with people around you. They will see you for who you are without feeling like you are not accessible or too good for them. Be a team player. There is no I in team or leader. Another asset to become a leader is a sense of responsibility and autonomy. A good leader never does everything alone. He or she understands that it is much better in groups and working together. By recognizing that others have skills and knowledge that can contribute to the greater good, you automatically place yourself in a position where others will respect you for your appreciation of who they are. Don't be afraid to recognize others and ask for help. Nurture connections. To become a leader, you have to work to create connections with others. You have to know others and appreciate them. It is showing people that you are not a manipulator, but that you care about others and that they can trust you. When you want others to trust you, you have to trust them first. Genuinely demonstrate to people that they are safe with you. It has to be natural, and it has to come from the bottom of your heart. Establishing connections means going towards people. It means talking with them about everything and nothing. It means giving them time and energy. It also means listening to them and getting to understand them. Nurturing connections signify that you are not the leader, but that you are like them, and that your greatest wish is that they succeed in life. Be available for people when they need you. By practicing those four suggestions, you will earn your place as a leader for people who see you as an inspiration to live their lives in ways that is more fulfilling and inspiring. These suggestions will also help you reach a position of leadership if that is what you hope to do in your career. In this presentation, you will learn to lead the life you've always wanted in five simple steps. These steps are based on behaviors demonstrated by successful leaders. Step 1. Live by three values. You will not meet a great leader or a successful person who does not live by the following three values. Gratitude, generosity, and passion. To live your life to the fullest and to realize your dreams, you need to live by those values. Knowing how to show gratitude or generosity allows you to live in a healthy and positive state, which will come back to you at some point. Besides, passion is what makes the difference between those who suffer their lives and those who live them. Knowing that you spend 70% of your time at work, why not make it a time when you do something you're passionate about? It will make your life more enjoyable and you will be 110% invested in what you do. Step 2. Pay it forward. The principle of taking and giving back is essential when you want the life of your dreams to be abundant. We all start from nothing. Whatever your social level at birth, it is necessary to know how to increase your knowledge, increase your income, increase your ability to understand the world to be able to give back. To be in constant balance between giving and receiving is the critical approach to always experience abundance in everything that you do. Living an abundant life doesn't have to mean finances only. It can be love, joy, happiness, or fulfillment. Step 3. Take care of yourself. Dreams don't always come true immediately, and your patience can be tested. Taking care of yourself is key to staying motivated to make those dreams come true throughout your life. After all, your ultimate dream may come true as you enter your 70s, but you'll need to be healthy to enjoy it. To do so, adopt a healthy routine and invest in yourself. Don't devote your life to the work of others or to please others. Find a balance with your personal life and take a step back from time to time to reflect on your desires aspirations, and dreams.
Practice acceptable physical and mental health practices every day to guide you on the quest for your purposes while staying healthy and placing yourself on the priority list. Step 4. Determine what you want. Dreams are intimately subjective. They belong to you and no one else. Purposes are different from ideals. Great leaders have ideals, such as world peace, but their dream is to have access to the right tools to serve that peace. Also, dreams are different from person to person. They can be bigger or smaller, more or less impactful. It doesn't matter. They are your dreams. You must ask yourself what you want in life. The clearer you are about your dream, the easier it is to lead yourself to it. Step 5. Decide and act. Once you know what you want and applied the three values, all you have to do is make decisions and take action. This is, paradoxically, the most challenging part. Many people miss out on their lives because they don't dare to act. Organize your life daily to achieve that dream life. If that means getting a degree to get the job of your dreams, go for it. Show yourself dedication and determination. This applies to everything from love to friendship to professional success. Let yourself be guided by what inspires you. In this presentation, you will learn five ways you can lead without a leadership role. You might be interested in becoming a leader in your work or demonstrating more leadership skills in your daily life. In this presentation, we have listed five ways you can do so. Be authentic. Authenticity is the ability to be yourself in all your interactions. When you look to become a leader, we often find ourselves trying to copy someone else. You must take the time to discover your leadership skills and the reason why you want to become a leader. The more you will know yourself or be self-aware, the more authentic you will be in your life. Yet leaders often do not take advantage of this discovery and neglect this process of self-awareness. The process of self-discovery can start by writing one's biography, listening to feedback, and even more formal methods such as profiling or personality profiles. Lead yourself to success. One of the most challenging things to do in leadership does not lead others to success, but to lead yourself. It is often less motivating to work on your objectives than those of others. That said, use four simple steps to reach your goal. First, identify your goal. Second, identify the gap between your current reality and your goal. List all the barriers to your goals. Third, list all the options that you have to remove these barriers. Fourth, apply the actions or choices that seem the most appropriate to you. Then repeat from the second step until you reach your goal. Be supportive of others. Any great leader can empower others to be their best. How can you be more supportive of others? A great philosophy to nurture is to try to leave a person in better shape than when the interaction started. Every interaction you have, Try to empower the individual in front of you to see their skills, knowledge, and abilities. That way, people will see you as a very supportive person and also someone who is very inspiring to others. Seek to improve. The best leaders are not afraid to ask their team how they could improve. Take the initiative to ask people around you. Seeking feedback from others will require that you welcome feedback that you might not be ready to receive. When you ask others for their opinion, be sure not to be on the defense, reactive, or even worse, attacking them when they say something you don't agree with. You might want to start by asking people that are close to you, and then ask friends, colleagues, and even neighbors. You could use a straightforward formula, which is to ask two fundamental questions. What do I do well? What could I do differently? That way, you give your interlocutor a chance to provide you with positive and constructive feedback. Become confident in your decisions. Great leaders are open to the feedback of others, but are also very confident in what they want and don't hesitate to make difficult decisions. You must start developing confidence in what speaks to you and what doesn't. 
in some ways, it is a bit about following your gut feeling. When it comes to make a decision, try not to think of pleasing others. Make a decision from the heart, one that you know will be best for everyone, but mostly for you, especially when it comes to being the leader of your life. It isn't selfish to make a decision when that decision is what motivates or drives you to be the best version of yourself. Six mistakes you make that are barriers to your leadership skills. In this presentation, you will learn six mistakes that may be barriers to your leadership skills. Those barriers are the following. Trying to do everything by yourself. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they want to develop their leadership skills is to believe that they have to do it on their own. It is crucial to involve others to achieve continued success as a great leader. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Good leaders don't have all the answers. Just ask. By trusting others, others will feel valued and increase their motivation. Surround yourself with smart and passionate people who are experts in their fields, especially in those you know less about. Failing at communication skills. Communication is undoubtedly the leader's most important tool. For some, it is also the most complex and the most difficult to master. Being open means listening and being humble. The leader must welcome criticism and opposing ideas without feeling threatened. He must accept that he does not know everything. He can make mistakes and that his employees may be more competent and know more than he does about certain subjects. Also, Learn that silence is a form of communication that can be very effective in some situations. Not learning from mistakes. If you are the type of person that gets embarrassed about the mistakes you make, you are very likely going to try to ignore and forget that mistake as soon as possible. On the other hand, accepting responsibility for making a mistake and trying to grow out from it is an excellent opportunity to become a better leader. Confessing an error is an opportunity to make things better. When we become accountable for our actions, it is reassuring and inspiring to others. Do others work? Do you tend to do other people's chores or work because you believe that there's nothing better than doing it yourself? If so, that is a big mistake because your behavior demonstrates that you don't trust others' skills and knowledge. It could even be perceived as the fact that you might think you are better than others. Instead of doing the work of others, try to be more compassionate. It might not be like you would do it, but that's okay. Others have the right to do their job their way. I'm sure you would not like to be told how to do your job either. Learn to let go of that need to have everything perfect. With time, you might develop a good relationship with others and they will be more open to learning from you. Stuck in your ways. A good leader is curious and satisfies his curiosity daily. Try to learn something new every day. Be curious, read, take notes, explore alternatives. Keep up to date with what's new in your industry. Don't be afraid to take risks and try new things. For example, New methodologies to grow your skills. Not have a clear vision. If you don't know where you're going, you can get lost. Make a list of your long-term goals. It's not a matter of writing down all the things you'd like to do that you haven't been able to do yet, but rather the horizon towards which you want to guide your plans. Your goals and vision need your energy and your time and money. So make them visible so you can think about them every day and take long-term decisions to reach those goals. Be clear about what you want. In this tutorial, I will share with you eight things that great leaders do. These eight things can help you become a better leader and develop your leadership skills. They always communicate. Great leaders frequently communicate with their entourage in a variety of ways. Leaders are influential through their communication, whether it's during a conversation, in a team meeting, by email, by phone, or on video conferences. They know how to motivate their employees with the words they utilize during interactions. 
Find ways to improve your communication skills with others. It could be by taking classes on communication skills or reading on the subject. They motivate others. Great leaders can engage others in a common vision while recognizing how everyone can contribute to that vision. They understand that everyone wants to contribute to the greater good, and they help others believe in what they do, which will have a strong and positive impact. How can you be inspiring to others? What vision do you have in common with others around you? And how can you help others reach their goal? They foster strong relationships. Great leaders are built on a solid foundation of trust and valued relationships. Without these two things, it is challenging to become a leader. Leaders who foster community and strong relationships are more powerful because they become their community. How can you improve your work and friendship relationships? What could you do differently to build more trust with others? They are honest. Great leaders are honest and transparent. Typically, they do what they say, and they say what they do. They know what their vision is and usually have a great understanding of how their actions and speech related to what they want to accomplish. This honesty and integrity make them more trustworthy and people know that what they see is what you get from that leader. What aspects of your life would benefit from being more honest or transparent? How can you be in more integrity with yourself? They look for solutions. In large corporations, great leaders are hired to solve big problems and find opportunities to improve. This requires excellent analytical skills and also above-average technical skills and an outstanding ability to solve very complex issues. When you find yourself faced with a problem, instead of feeling defeated about it, do a brainstorm with someone else. That will help you develop your problem-solving skills. They delegate. Great leaders have a high level of perseverance and give confidence to those around them. All employees can count on them to be given responsibility and the opportunity to make things happen. Great leaders are not afraid to delegate tasks because they know that the expression divide and conquer is how teams can reach their goals by dividing the work. How can you assign more in your work or at home? Do you trust others to do the job? If not, how can you improve that trust? They know their skills. Great leaders know what they are good at and are not afraid to show and use their skills for the greater good of their community. They are also very open to grow and learn to master new skills. What are the skills that you have? How do you use them for the greater good? They help develop others. Not only are great leaders great at what they do, but they also like to see others display some greatness. Great leaders are often seen helping others learning new skills, whether by teaching them or supporting others in their learning. How can you better help others learn new skills? In this presentation, you will discover eight tips to become an inspiring leader. Based on research, here are eight essential tips to become an inspiring leader. Be authentic. An inspiring leader must be able to show certain vulnerability and authenticity to others. He is not afraid to admit that he doesn't know everything or might have made a mistake. When you are vulnerable, you are increasing your chance of connecting with others and inspire them also to be a leader, even if they don't have it all together. Don't try to be infallible. Be humble. You will be all the more appreciated for your authenticity. Be a good listener and observer. Inspiring leaders know how to read a room or a person's state. Understanding and identifying changes in the environment is necessary, and you can do so by observing and listening to people who are interacting with you or in a group. It is therefore essential to know how to read between the lines, but above all, not hesitate to go in search of information to avoid certain tensions. Be respectful. Self-respect is essential to get respect from others. It may seem pretty obvious, but it's not that simple. Pay attention to the respect you have for yourself, to take care of yourself, to inspire respect in others. Be aware of yourself, being aware of your communication style, your assets, but also of what is difficult for you, of your limits, 
helps you to know yourself better and to remain vigilant in the way you interact with others. Be a role model. To be a good role model, you need to be aware of yourself. Being aware of your communication style, your assets, but also of what is difficult for you, of your limits, help you to know yourself better and to remain vigilant in the way you interact with others. Delegate, congratulate, coaches your team. The more you will know yourself, the more you will inspire others also to be self-aware and become leaders of their life. Be trustworthy. Trust is not something that you can get overnight. It is built over time through consistency and authenticity. Creating the conditions for trust is not limited to what you say, but more to what you do. Everyone knows that actions and behaviors speak louder than words and writing. It is also important to be transparent and to respect the individual, and the work is done. Be a teacher and support others' growth. An inspiring leader will be the one who will do everything possible to help others progress and be a better version of themselves. Find ways to teach others new skills or support them in their growth. Be courageous. A great leader does not give up at the first difficulty encountered. He accepts challenges as opportunities for growth and knows that the path to a goal is not a long, calm river. In the face of adversity, the leader must sharpen up, show even more determination to reach a goal, and must have learned from his mistakes. To be an inspiring leader, show your courage, your determination, and your perseverance. Be passionate. Passion and enthusiasm are contagious, but so are boredom, frustration, and negative energies. No one wants to be around bored people, do uninteresting tasks, or work reluctantly. On the contrary, being motivated or interested in what we do motivates others and makes us want to surpass each other. True leaders are passionate about something and thrive in it. They seek to share their positive energy with those around them. In this presentation, you will learn 10 skills you need to master to help you lead the life of your dream. These 10 skills are present in people who are successful and happy in life. They will help you achieve success in both your professional, social, and personal life. Trusting your instincts. Trusting one's instincts proves to be very useful, and we must not neglect this inner voice that speaks to us. It must be said that a person's instincts become reliable when we find ourselves in a delicate situation. How many times does a hunch or an inner voice warn us about a situation or a person? And very often, it turns out to be right. That's why it is better not to ignore it. Getting out of your comfort zone. Being stuck in your comfort zone is undoubtedly relaxing and comforting, hence the name. This state of mind makes us miss out on many things, such as being open to new ideas and experiences. It is therefore vital to be open to others to take advantage of the opportunities that may arise. Remaining open to new things. Being open to trying new things will allow you to not only get out of your comfort zone, but discover things that you might love or be passionate about. Often, we don't live the life of our dream because we don't know our dream. By trying new things, you will be able to understand what you want or don't want. Continuing to learn. Even if we have solid qualifications and well-recognized diplomas, our learning does not stop at that stage because training or understanding in general should be a day-to-day -day job. Instead, it is possible to follow training courses or to acquire knowledge through personal or professional experiences. It is essential to get new skills and to learn a little bit more to succeed. Knowing how to give. With success comes responsibility, and one should share one's experience with others. Indeed, it is always positive to let those around you benefit from your success. You can do so by helping them succeed in their projects. Making an effort to assist them can allow them to succeed too. Enjoying life experience. Acquiring knowledge at school is very important, but books are only one source of knowledge. 
while other knowledge can be developed through experiences. The knowledge acquired through experience, real life, and practice enables one to cope with different situations and difficulties. Taking care of yourself. In the quest for success, the individual must not neglect his or her health and well-being. It is even essential to preserve their will and motivation intact and have the energy to continue their journey to success. It is therefore necessary to rest, exercise, and adopt a balanced diet to ensure that one's approach and actions are sustainable. Show respect and compassion. To be treated with respect and compassion, you must do the same with others. And therefore, it is best to avoid taking advantage of your contacts and relationships. The best thing to do is to treat everyone with respect and honesty. Continuous self-reflection. When embarking on a life journey, it becomes wise, even essential, to plan regular self-assessments to diagnose strengths and weaknesses and plan actions to correct and improve them. Exercising passion. Nothing is as depressing as doing something you don't like. When you're passionate about what you do, you stay focused and fully committed to it without ever getting tired or unmotivated. Doing what you're passionate about is the secret for leading and living a great life. In this presentation, you will learn how you can develop your leadership skills. Some people are naturally predisposed to be leaders, although it doesn't mean that it can't be developed. Leadership is the influence of an individual on a group through a relationship of mutual trust. It is manifested by the ability to unite a group and mobilize members towards a common goal. You don't have to be in a leadership role to be a leader. Here are five ways you develop your leadership skills. Know yourself. The cornerstone of leadership is self-awareness. A true leader must be aware of his strengths and limitations. He must be able to question himself and, above all, show authenticity. It is essential to be genuine, to be authentic, to be sincere, and to have the courage to be yourself, to make yourself somehow vulnerable to gain the trust of others. Others need to know that their leader is not a superhero, but human just like them. That way, they can trust you and help you achieve goals. Understanding others. The second essential element of leadership is the knowledge of others. It is imperative to understand others to relate to them. The classic mistake is to assume that what works with oneself will necessarily work with others. Understand what motivates them, what their skills are, how can you help them grow. The only way you can answer these questions is by taking the time to get to know others. Demonstrate emotional intelligence. At the leadership level, intelligence is essential, but it is emotional intelligence that will make you a great leader. Emotional intelligence is a set of skills, verbal and nonverbal allowing an individual to generate, recognize, express, understand, and evaluate his own emotions and those of others. To develop emotional intelligence, a leader must first know himself well. He must also learn to tame his emotions and adapt them to different situations without being reactive. Finally, he must recognize and understand the feelings of others. If you are tuned out of your own emotions, you will be poor at reading them in other people. The basis of emotional intelligence is knowing oneself and understanding others better. In addition to this understanding, you also need the following aptitudes. Empathy, active listening, emotional management, pressure management, communication skills, authenticity, and humility. Developing your power of influence. The power of influence in leadership lies in the art of negotiating and finding mutual benefit. Influencing is, therefore, not about showing authority or manipulating people. The distinction is important and often leads to an unhealthy power of influence. Negotiation requires listening, finding a win-win agreement, building trust, 
compromise, and body language that promotes openness. Then, to persuade and convince, you must have a good argument, be prepared, rely on sound logic, emphasize the positive points, and know how to assert yourself properly. Having a goal and a strategic vision. It is necessary to have a goal if you want to know where you are going, but not just any goal. Some goals are meaningless. Others are not positive or constructive. Ideally, the goal will be productive, positive, and win-win. If your only goal is to make more money or to crush others, it is unlikely that people will follow you in an upbeat, positive, and win-win way. Find a humble goal that allows you to have a clear vision of where you want to go and have confidence that with your skills and help from others, you can reach that goal. The One Secret to Be the Leader of an Amazing Life You only live once, so you really should not waste time and enjoy life to the fullest. One of the best ways to learn is to study the behavior and philosophy of those who have led a successful life or simply get the scoop in this tutorial. The one secret of being a leader of a fantastic life is to treat yourself as the person you deserve to be. Have you ever heard the advice, take care of yourself like you would your best friend? As lame as that sentence sounds, it makes perfect sense. You need to treat yourself the way you would treat your loved ones. One study has even shown that compassion toward yourself makes you happier than self-esteem. If all this is true, why do so many people find it hard to be friends with themselves? A person will always neglect his existence simply because he has always found himself insignificant or not significant. You can lead this amazing life once you treat yourself the same way a compassionate person would treat a friend. To lead an amazing life, you must first believe that you deserve one and that you are good enough to create one. What would you tell a friend if they were asking for advice? You would probably try to convince them that they can. The same applies to you. Reflect on how you treat yourself. Do you tend to put others on a priority list? Way ahead of your own needs? If so, it's time to be courageous and take the lead in your life. Being a leader means having the courage to make difficult decisions. That is one of those difficult decisions where you have to make yourself the choice. Choose to live a life where you are the leader. Don't let others dictate your life and your choices. When you learn to put yourself as a priority, you are shifting your perception of yourself from being not enough to being in your power. You somehow become a leader and remove yourself from the victim mindset. The victim mindset is a mindset where we see our life as a series of results that are imposed on us by our environment and others. When you treat yourself as the person you deserve to be, you become a leader of yourself and empower yourself to create what you want. You have the power to manifest all your wildest dreams, and no one can stop you, other than yourself, from doing so. You are the most critical person in your life, and you have to start aligning your behaviors and communication with that truth. Take the time to reflect on how you treat yourself and how you talk to yourself. Do you need to be kinder, more respectful, more compassionate toward yourself? A true leader can be vulnerable and accept that the old ways might no longer serve them to reach their goal. Be that leader and choose to lead yourself into a fantastic life by taking who you are, flaws and all, and place yourself on the VIP list. The reality is if you don't do it, no one will do it for you. And only you can choose what your life will be like. Take that leap of faith today and put in action one thing today that will align with your self-respect and self-love. This action will be the beginning of your fantastic life. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.